Hello, this is section 1b. The topic of this section is Boolean set operations and Cartesian products. Now the aim of this section is to lay a simple mathematical foundation for operations among sets so that we can later coherently talk about vectors, matrices, and their interesting applications in the relation to complex systems. We want to, when we discuss sets, frame those sets in a kind of universe of sets as I referred to previously. So we'll call our universe here U. We're going to use set notation. And just to make things nice and elementary, we'll say that our universe consists of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there's our universe. We denote a set with a capital letter. And now let's bring into the fold a couple other sets so we can play with these things and allow them to interact. So we'll call the set A the set of numbers consisting of 1, 2, and 3, and we need maybe one more set here, so we'll call the set B uh, the set consisting of the numbers just 3 and 4. Notice both, both of those sets are in this universe U. So what we want to do here is define our first Boolean operation. It's a binary operation, by the way. Boolean comes from George Boole, it's named after. And Boole was an English logician. And so we will define our first operation here, which is called the union. And so we would read this A union B, and that symbol, the U, is red union, as I've indicated. And the definition of the union of two sets is, we'll use set builder notation, is the set of all X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. There's the definition of the union of two sets. Now we can capture that same idea via a Venn diagram as we sort of did before. So let's draw that picture accordingly. So again we're in our universe U and I'll draw let's say the set A and here's the set B and just to label things just so they're consistent with our designations above we'll say A consists of 1, 2, and 3 is in the overlap notice of the two sets and B consists of the elements 3 and 4. So when we talk about the union then, uh, we would, as the Venn diagram indicates, we would then shade everything that's either an element of A or an element of B. Thus we shade together both A and B. So here is our graphical description as a Venn diagram of the union of A and B. Now just to further sort of solidify that idea, let's write the union of A and B also in set notation just to see all the different renderings here. So union of A and B once again is the set consisting of all the elements in A or B. So that would give us in its entirety the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 just as we've captured them in the Venn di diagram on the right. So let's then continue talking about uh, basic Boolean set operations. So we discussed the union. Another common Boolean operation is the intersection of two sets. And I would write that just with our U symbol flipped here. So this is actually red intersection. So I would say A intersect B, or the intersection of A and B. And the definition, in a set builder sense, of the intersection of A and B is basically just the set of all elements common to both sets. So I would read this as follows. I would say the set of all x such that x is in A and now is our connective x is in B. So we can once again capture that idea with a simple Venn diagram. So we're in our universe here. We have our set A. Once again, we have our set B. A consisting of 1, 2, and 3 in the overlap, B consisting of just 3 and 4. So how do we capture the intersection? Well, that would just be the overlap here. So I shade the intersection of A and B thusly. So there is intersection of A and B as a Venn diagram. And now just to once more reinforce those ideas directly, what is the set, the set collectively of all common elements to both A and B. Well, that would just be the singleton set that is a set with one element consisting of only the element 3. 